Okay, next we are going to show you how to do the setting for this labor gap sensor. This is because if the labor gap sensor setting is not correct, it can't really detect the labor gap signal. Okay, as you can see, it is what's happening right now. Alright, before we would like to teach you. So, first of all, as you can see, there's one yellow button below the labor gap sensor. Okay. And you will need to first hold this button for around four to five seconds. Hold it. And then you start to let it detect between the labor and the labor gap. Okay, and see as you can see it right now, yes. When it detect the labor gap, it has signal. And if it's labor, there's no signal, as you can see, only the labor gap. So this is the correct setting for the labor gap sensor. Yeah.